What up geeks? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Mick Fraser and this is Runner 3. I'm playing it on Nintendo Switch, which I think it is exclusive to. Don't quote me on that because I'm usually rubbish with these things, but I'm pretty sure it's exclusive to Nintendo Switch. Um, this is Commander Video and this is Command, uh, Command Girl Video, I think. Um, yeah, so it's that kind of game. That gives you an indication of what we're dealing with, right? Have you played a Runner game before? If you have, then you know what to expect, except Runner 3 is a little bit more... Well, you'll see, right? It's pretty cool. I'm going to go straight in with uh, Commander Video. I played with both a little bit. I've not got out the first world yet. Um, it's bastard hard at times. It's kind of like a rhythm game, right? It's not just a Runner. It's a rhythm game. You've got to get your timing right. Yeah, and you'll see, it's quite cool. If you haven't played a runner game before, and I, do, I don't mean an endless runner in general, I mean a game from this series, um, then you should, if you get a chance. I think Runner and Runner 2 are both available on Wii U. I don't think you can get them on, um, on Switch, which is a shame, because they're pretty cool. But I'm going to jump into World 1. I've done it before, obviously. Um, when you complete it, you unlock this, which is the gem run, which is a slightly harder run, but you get these gems, which then you spend in the shop, uh, which means you can unlock you know, costumes and capes and things like that. So um, first of all, we're gonna dive directly into level one. I mean, you can see it, it looks lovely. It's got a real like, oh, kind of like a, a I want to say Rayman e vibe, but that's a bit reductive um, because it's it's more than that. It's its own thing, but it's got a really cool art style. And Runner Two did as well. I remember Runner One, the first one was is quite retro now. Um, it was pretty basic. I think it was with Runner Two that they kind of upped the ante on the graphics and the gameplay quite a lot. But <clears throat> this is. It's really cool, but it's, it gets really hard really quick. Because to begin with, you just jump in. You press A or B to jump. Ah, see, I'm talking and I wasn't paying attention. And I died straight away. And you go right back to the beginning. The checkpoint is mid-level, which is not so bad in the early stages. But later on, you'll see, I'll show you a, a slightly later level. I mean, we're out of the first world yet, and it's it's pretty tough already. But it's got a lovely rhythm to it, that when you collect these gold bars, and you hear the little bing, and it goes in time with the music, which just, when you're in full flow, and it's going well, oh, it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's a real feel-good game, until you hit a big wall of spikes, or some such, and then, you know, I don't know. It's like the Dark Souls of Endless Runners. <laughs> oh, I said that with a straight face. So there's the checkpoint. And I'm not sure what this does. If you press the right trigger, you will do a little flourish and a disco ball appears. But I don't know if that, if you can do anything with that. I've not, I don't know what that does. It looks cool and kind of cute, but I'm not sure it has a purpose. Unless you can chain it together, maybe. Does it do anything to the points? Uh, see, now I was looking at the points. You take your eyes off it for a second, and game over, man. Game over. So later on, at the moment, we're just jumping. Okay, but I will show you in a moment, a slightly later level, where you're chaining together uh, jumps and slides and bounces and kicks and all sorts of other stuff. And this is only, like I said, this is only the first world, so it's gonna get tougher than that. They're gonna add more stuff, I imagine. Um, 
and yeah, it becomes like a almost like a rhythm game. It's it's not just it's not you're not just jumping. You're you're hitting the timing right. You jump, slide, bounce, kick. It's pretty cool. We're actually nearly done the first level now. Actually went the way I wasn't supposed to go then. There you go, there's that. That's level one. So yeah, that's pretty easy, right? Yeah. Dead simple. But wait, it gets tougher. So I'm going to skip all the way forward now to uh, one of the levels I've just done, which is <clears throat> harder, significantly harder. So you see the world's a bit Mario-ish. Yeah, you've got this all, you're in the, like a hub. The shop is glowing, which means I've probably got unlocked something in it I don't know let's go and have a look so shop actually is pretty cool and it's it's not a bad idea to just show you what's going on so you've got costumes <clears throat> as you can imagine which are pretty basic that's your that's your standard birthday suit uh, and then that's just weird command and Ms. video command I don't know what that means but it just paints you flesh colored which is mildly disturbing uh, looks like a swimming kit apparently so they're costumes and then there's capes which as you can see uh, they change the little flourish that comes out behind you when you reach the end of the level and then you've got accessories where you've got a hat and things like that like here's a moustache and I think there's a monocle oh, I've gone back to capes there's a monocle somewhere there it is and yeah so <clears throat> that's the sort of thing you do and you obviously can switch between um, commander video and command girl video in the shop so that's that's the shop um, I'm guessing that in different worlds there's different things to unlock because there's not a great selection there but I don't know we'll see So I've just done, this is the world I just did, right? So I'll just show you this. This was quite a tough one, actually. I say tough, like, I, I'm not particularly good at stuff like this, right? Throw me in front of a shooter or an RPG and, and I'm fine. Stuff like this tends to take me a little while to get my head around. But yeah, so you've got now you've got springs as well and walls to kick and another spring. And you've got things you need to slide under. There's a minecart level. And I've played levels where I see... <clears throat> where I had to fly a plane. Which was quite cool. So it does its best to mix it up. Which is brilliant. Because that's what you want. Because any, any runner game can become really boring really quick if it doesn't if it doesn't switch its own formula up regularly but you can see I mean it's hard to convey how tough it is because it probably looks really easy right it's just jump 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 stand on that but you have to press the button you have to do the button press to land to you have to press up for that spring to work you have to kick through the walls you know, and it's not as easy as it probably looks. Honestly, I'm not just rubbish. I'm not just rubbish. It is tough. And especially it does some crazy stuff sometimes. A couple of the levels will, the angle will change. So all of a sudden, you're kind of looking at yourself, you know, the camera will shift to in front of Commander Video or behind um, at kind of the drop of a hat which is a little bit weird. I can tell I've done this level already, right? Oh, he says right and then watch this now. Right back to the checkpoint. This game does not fuck around. You get one checkpoint per level at the halfway point and that's your lot. If you mess up, woe betide because you're doing it all again. Which is just not, it's not fair at all well it is you've just got to be less rubbish than I am in order to <laughs> so 
succeed. I did it again. I did the same thing again. Try that again. And of course these things, you can't help but go for the gold bars. To the ruin of all, it's like you get addicted to collecting the damn things. Oh! Right. So, it's lucky I don't embarrass easy, to be perfectly honest. I probably should, I probably should embarrass easier because I suck so hard at games. And I call myself a gamer. I'm a games writer. I'm here making videos to show people and I'm, I'm this bad at games. Better. Oh yeah, occasionally, occasionally it'll launch projectiles at you as well, which it hasn't, it doesn't in this level. But occasionally, because um, I'm in food land, which is what this level is called, I died again, which is what this level is called, uh, this stage, uh, world, food land, it throws things like meatballs at you all of a sudden. But of course, it's not random. So it's all about uh, repetition and memory like any other rhythm game really it's it everything is set there are there is no randomness to it uh, everything pops up at the same time it's absolute precision which is also a kind of a joy in itself because it's really great when you learn a level well and then it's, it's kind of you get that that Rayman and Mario vibe when you know what's coming uh, so, to, and you're millimetre perfect with it. And it's so much more fun. Actually didn't do too bad there. I did, I did rubbish. I died like more times than I should have. But <clears throat> you get the gist. I'm here for you, I'm out here for you guys. I'm embarrassing myself. I don't know what these little collectibles are. If they're, if they're collectibles at all. I've never unlocked one. Like we'll do one more level. We'll do the level that I haven't done yet. Which will be, <laughs> which will be um, an experience for all of us. And if I'm, if I'm terribly rubbish at it and it takes me too many attempts and I start wasting your precious time, we'll call it quits. But for now, we're, we're you know, a little bit over sort of 12 minutes in, we'll have a crack. Let's see how it goes. So now we're in the factory, apparently. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Okay, see, now I didn't even know that those things existed. I'm guessing you press the opposite direction on that. Does anyone know? Hmm. Catsup style ketchup. <laughs> yes. Press the direction it says, obviously. Oh, I could have switched direction there. There you go. Oh, see. Yet another mechanic it wants to throw at you willy nilly. At least you haven't got to do that with any kind of time and you can just hold the direction you want to go in. And it'll do the work for you. Those walls are popping up much quicker than they were. I love, I just love every level. Like the, the visual style of every level is just lovely. 
oh, it's just such a good looking game. It actually looks better. I'll be dead honest, it looks better on the handheld um, with the Switch because it's a little bit more forgiving with things like the textures and that, but it it, it looks it, and it plays really well on the handheld as well, really well, as you can imagine. It's a great it's one of those it's a great game for like a commute or something. Or when you've just got like ten minutes to kill when you're on the, the porcelain throne or something and you just wanna just Escape the day for 10 minutes, so you put one of these levels on and hate yourself a little bit, probably. I tend to. Oh, no, I'm in a... Oh, wow. Oh, I can... and it steers. Yeah, this is just... It's just lovely. Oh, I got an applause for that. I don't know what I did or what that was. I mean, you can see it's quite... Whoa! <laughs> it's quite an, it's it's wonderful isn't it it's lovely we love it we love um runner three absolutely love it it knows oh i got that it knows what it is and it doesn't faff around it's just a lovely game it's just great and it is hard and it is a bit of a challenge and it is going to make you swear occasionally but it's superb it, it's it plays very very well it looks absolutely lovely it's very unoffensive and yeah it's just good it's got a great feel it's got that wonderful sort of Rayman-y Mario feel to it that is just a positive it's a positive game you know it's not violent it's not um it's not sweary, it's not dark, it's lovely and bright and colourful and wonderful and it's well worth playing if you've got a Nintendo Switch and you can get hold of Runner 3, do so because it's great. It's, it's one of those games that you can just jump into for 5, 10, 15 minutes or you can lose yourself for a couple of hours and it's easily done. But it's good. Uh, that's my opinion, that's what I think, I've told you, that's the end of the video. I'm not going to keep going on, I'm not going to show you any more, that's three levels and yeah. Check it out if you like. If you don't, who am I? Do you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so I've been Mick Fraser for God is a Geek, and you guys have been lovely. Bye.